from St. Matthew's Church in Glendale, California for our daily devotion, which today comes from a series called Meditations from Northwestern Publishing House. Our reading for this day comes from the Beatitudes, Matthew chapter 6. Jesus says, And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor, they do not spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will God not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles run after all these things, and yet your heavenly Father knows that you need them. What a beautiful lesson Jesus teaches us here in the Beatitudes. What a simple lesson from the flowers of the field. Jesus directs us to one of the flowers commonly seen in Palestine of that time, a pretty lily which grows even without cultivation. Its beauty was such that even Solomon, in all of the splendor of his attire, could not be compared with a simple lily. Back in those days, the natives of Palestine actually burned these flowers for fuel and held them in very low esteem. But God esteemed the lily enough to clothe them in splendid colors, more gorgeous than the apparel of the nation's greatest king. Even these little flowers were in God's almighty care. Are we not also cared for? Yet are we not also often anxious about the clothing we need and the other necessities of life, especially in times like this? We worry about being without, even though God has seen fit to give us all the things that we need in the midst of a land of abundance. When we worry, it's an indicator that our faith needs a boost. Jesus teaches us to find comfort in the fact that God always knows what we need. God will take care of everything. The people of this world worship the God of materialism, but the followers of Jesus are to know better, and we're not to follow after the things of this world. There is, of course, nothing wrong with seeking after food and clothing and a place to live. God wants us to work faithfully and to provide for ourselves and share what we have with others. But Jesus cautions us not to give our heart over to these things and make those our true treasures in this life. Much more important is clothing for our soul, the robe of Jesus' righteousness, which covers over our sin. Seeking after this clothing for our soul reveals the gospel of God's love for us, which was shown to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior, let us pray. O oh God, we are trusting you to guide us, for we know that you will always lead us, and we know that every day and every hour you will supply all that we need. In Jesus' name, amen.